don't know in Fahrenheit what that is. All I know is it freaking hot. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's morning for us still, 11.30 still, so... Anyways, today I am completely finishing this journal, and then it will go up for sale. Uh, I worked on it a little bit this morning because I don't need to do every single little page on video. So what I did this morning was, I'm pretty sure, yes, yes, I did that, that, and that, and that. I'm pretty sure I finished this yesterday because somebody said they wanted to see a tutorial on so i just made this pee for yesterday whoops and i crumpled it up and i just kind of stained it a little bit on the outside so that's just a, an insert inside that pocket and then today i worked on this doily with stuff to journal on you can journal here i worked on these two okay. pieces. Hi, Cheryl. Well, let me come in on my account. And I did oh. this. And inside of these pockets are journal papers or pages you can write on. And you can write on here, fold it up. You can write on this, fold it over, and you can write on here. So this here is very functional. And then I did this so you can journal on this. And you can journal little notes there. I made this little pocket with a pull-out tag. And then on the back, it just says hope. And this is hope and faith. And that was one of the inserts. And then I made this little tag pocket. So you can journal on this tag. So I completed that. I completed this. I just put stuff and stamped notes. So you can journal on that. You can journal here, but you can journal on all these pages as well. So they're all here for journaling. Next page, I just stamped these with notes, so you can just write some stuff on there. Same with here. You can just write some stuff here and here. And I made this. So on the back of this, you just flip it over. And you can journal on all these pages here and on the back of that card and on the front. And you could stuff little sentiments or special stuff in your pocket. Uh, I just stuck that there because it was bulky everywhere else. And I just made this little tag so you can journal on it. Uh, I did this. Doily says happiness fly away. And, of course, there's a butterfly. And then I made this little pocket here so you can journal on the back of this card. And you can journal on this pocket itself. So you can journal here, journal here, and journal on the back. And I'll show you what I'm doing to all of these empty pages. So that's an empty page. This is the last piece i done. I finished this off. So you can journal all on here, flip it open, and you can write all in here. And I kind of put these on the corners because they were so flimsy. So I put some cardstock there. And then you can journal on this back side. So that's all I completed. Now I'm on to doing the next insert. Probably got one in every single page. Oh, no. Oh, I'll show you what I'm going to do on all the pages. <clears throat> Starting past all this bulkness. I'm putting little corners on every single empty page like that. <clears throat> so you can. I'm just going to stick a little <laughs> sheet of paper in there. And it's a little tuck spot for a note or something, a sticker, not a sticker, but a ticket or something. If you have a ticket from something you went to and you want to keep, keep it in there. Put in this one here is just a piece of paper to journal on. And tuck it inside here. Like that. So I'm going to do that on all the pages, all these empty ones. See, with nothing on it, it's going to have a little tuck spot for specialty stuff. So let me get on to what my next page is, and it's this. So for this, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> make a pocket. And I don't know what I'm going to use, so I'm just going to maybe take a tag, one of these tags here. Yeah, that looks about good. We'll use this tag for a pocket. 
and we'll cut it straight across. Well, it doesn't really matter how good I do. <clears throat> Hi, Joanna. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to distress the edges. That's all I'm doing. Hi, Christine. Johanna. Cheryl. Hey, Johanna. Hey, Christine. And then I'm just going to fold this in half. As you can see, I didn't cut it very straight, but I will fix that. Now we'll cut it straight now. Ha, <laughs> that's a joke. Jada? Cut anything straight? No. So let me just get rid of any white that's showing. And Hello, then, ladies. How is everyone today? Then we will glue our pocket to this <coughs> page here. I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to glue all on this pocket here. And then I'm going to glue all the edges shut. And here as well. Just in case I miss. And then I'm going to just stick it right in there. Close it up. <clears throat> Close that up. And then I'm going to open it by putting a slit here. And then we'll have this cute little pocket. As soon as this glue dries. And we will distress these edges. Rip of the white. So I need to wait for this glue to dry a bit. And then I'll put a tag inside. I think that looks pretty good. Morning, Lynn. And which tag do I want to use? Something nice usable. Let's see. Oh, that's too fat. <clears throat> too fat. Got a fat arse. All right, let's just pull these out and pick one that's a little smaller. Oh, maybe these two. We'll make a tag out of those. <clears throat> that's what we'll do. Okay, and I'm going to, let's have a look-see. No. <coughs> Maybe. Read that. Up there. No, those are too long. I need to find some smaller ones. Ooh. These two will work. Okay. Yes, those two will work. I'm going to glue these together on top of that pocket. And then you will have more spots to journal on. In case you run out of paper in here. <laughs> it looks like you might run out of paper. Okay, I'm going to do the same with these tags. Glue them together. So there's a front and a back. I just hate white spots on backs of tags. Nikki. 
There we go. Come on, get unstuck. There, and go flat. <clears throat> We're just making a tag. Nikki says, hey, Ruby. Hey, Nikki. <clears throat> How come she's not in here? I don't know. Why are you not in here, Nikki? She probably just woke up. So how was your Sunday afternoon with your family, April? Or Sunday day? I guess the whole day. Yeah, it was really good. My husband and I sat and caught up on some TV shows we've been taping. and Nice. Today is his birthday. Oh, happy birthday to your husband. And I have try I, I, I gave up. I was going to send him 50, because he's 55 today on Facebook. I was going to tag him in 55 different happy birthday songs, but I gave up after 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame wow. you there. It was just too many. 55 is too many is right. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> Ruby, guess what I got at a rummage sale, and I, I talked her down to $3. Yes, you just told me last night, crocodile. Oh, I did. Oh, sorry. Yes, you did. Yeah. Is it, is it like the one I have? Oh, Nikki's at work. Yes, That's why she's not morning. there. Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. You guys have to work today? That sucks. I'm working on this project right now, Nikki. I don't have to work today. Hey. I'll touch you. Well, it's Victoria Day. Well, we don't have that here. You don't have Memorial Weekend? The Queen's birthday? You don't? Well, I guess you guys don't. Well, no. we have Memorial Day, but... Canada exactly. was part of England at one point in time, so... That's why we celebrate Victoria Day. It's Victoria Queen Victoria's birthday. All right, there's our cute little taggy bag. Hopefully it fits in this pocket. Our and Memorial Day is a week from today. It does. Now, did I get glue on my book here? No. Well, <clears throat> work, I'll get time and a half. Woo, woo, woo. Well, latte da to you. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to glue it down about... That far. Put it down about that far. Good. And center it. Oh, HSD. And I'm going to glue like this backing to it so it will be functional. We can use it for journaling. Oh, he just got out of his meeting, and he's just now seeing all the things that I posted. <laughs> he's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> where did you post them? I found them all on YouTube. No, no, but where did you post them to him? Oh, on his Facebook. Oh, on his Facebook. Ow, I just sat on the court. Wow. So. My, my little miniature that I'm doing for him did not come with... The glue. What miniature? The bar. It didn't, yeah, a lot of them don't come with the glue, but I, I tell you, use your AGG for a lot of it, but use um, 3-in-1 by Beacon. Well, I that just, I just like, got some Gorilla Super Glue. Freaking amazing. <clears throat> well, that might work, too. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. So we just made this an absolutely functional pocket, <laughs> which I adore, but it needs something right here. So let me find a sentiment. Enjoy every moment. That's kind of, kind of nice. Let's put a sentiment on it. <clears throat> Why not? I don't trust our stickies, so, yeah. Put that there. Make it a little uh, bit pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's so simple. 
This is very simple. <clears throat> and we'll use the so much fun sentiment. We even went to Bella's, I went to Bella's award ceremony this morning. She got two awards. Oh, wow. wow. good for her. And so much fun. And that one is done. <clears throat> and it is fun. Now, what other sentiment can I use? That'll be fun, Lynn. Go shooting. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Live the life you love. What a great sentiment. What a great one. Hallelujah. All right. So this is going to go on my doily. I think I'm just going to put it across the doily like that, and that's all I'm going to do to that doily. Again, this bulk book is so bulky that if I continue with going ballistic with all the stuff, because I want to do those corners and add those, um, whatchamacallit, Oh, it, does, it does need a butterfly, hey, on the butterfly page. It needs a butterfly. This one's a cute butterfly, too. Whoops. I did that. Ah, my fingers are all full of glue and ink. <clears throat> I've been working hard here this morning. Trying to. Oh, shoot. Okay. Pulled off the butterfly. Aww. Yes. You be winged them. Well, you got to be mean to the butterfly. What did it do to you? I de winged them. It's all right. He is still very sticky. We will stick him back on. He's actually stuck on, looks like with score tape. So these here are very flexible so they don't really go flat so I'd have to give it a little bit of love let's pull that up make sure it doesn't go through and the AGG dries there we go look at that pretty look at a simple little sim that was the wrong doily by the way it was supposed to go this <laughs> one that's all right we'll do another one whoops that one had dragonflies anyway. Um, what other one? What's other good sentiment? Dream big. Uh, we could use that one. Dream big. You are my simply amazing. Forever young. Ooh, that would be That's me. a good song by Rod Stewart. Yes, I love that song. Forever young. Oh, so lovely. Forever young. Love the journey. Okay, it's a journal, and we need the word journey. Hi. I love journey. Me Very too. Me too. Bed of roses. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get the right doily this time, Rubes. Oh, Jada. Jada says, Postal Services is mad at me. My craft haul came in two huge deliveries, and my dog chased both guys. <laughs> <laughs> love. Data, you should have gotten the package for me by now. Okay, and now we need one more butterfly. So we're going to use this little baby. I love these butterflies. Yeah, them ones are pretty. Did you get them at the dollar store? I sure did. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> well, hello, Judy Evans Parker. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. Let's put paper underneath our doily because I'm going to go over top of the. Uh, yeah, fabric. Jada, spill it. What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh huh, huh. All right. So that one is decorated. Good enough. And if you do this, don't let your doily or your things stick too long or your paper will stick to that paper 
just to catch the excess glue. So we have just completed another beautiful section. Now on to this last piece here, I think. Hi, Rajul. Hi, Rajul. I think, I think, I think. Let me think. What are we going to put on there? You can do it. No. We can make this into a little pocket. Maybe. And to stick a little tag in there. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's center that. It's on the back. We don't need to do nothing to the back. But we do need to camouflage that. Because it'll be showing. Or I might put a butterfly on it. I might put a sticker on it. I don't know. But glue something to it. I'm going to glue something to this sucker. Yeah, right. Whoops. I'm going to glue up there. I want to glue about here, here, and I think about there. Is that the right place for the glue? If not, I put some glue right along here. Straighten this journal out. All right. Now we've got a little pocket, which nobody knows it's a pocket yet until we put a nice little something in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's a little too big. Uh, I could cut this down and stick a tag in like that. So how big of a pocket do we have? So let me cut off some of this. Let's see if that'll fit in there. Dang it. I'm not going to. It's still not going to fit. Rotten pig. So I'm going to just cut it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make my own little tag. There we go. Make it fit. I did not want to cut off the journal part. <clears throat> Now, let me, let me entertain you. Let me fix some of these edges. Okay, Lynn's got a question. What's the question? Need opinions. Is it better to attach pages to the spine before you mat and decorate them or afterwards? Or well, mat them and then attach them? Well, a lot mat. of people do it in different stages. So some people attach all their goodies like take Genevieve for example, she does her pages, then she attaches them. Um, I don't like to do it that way. I just find it really hard. Like you can imagine this bulky book and try to shove a page in there straight. Anyway, um, and these are signatures anyway. So I, I like to put them in first, but again, it's just a preference. It, it will work either way. It don't really matter. Yeah, and I do it the opposite way. I decorate my pages, and then I put them in. Right. See? She's an oddball of the bunch. Uh-huh. Well, duh. <laughs> duh. <coughs> oh, you're crazy, April. No crap a caca. No crap a caca. But you know what? This is not This is not a feasible page. Hey. Okay, can something just stay and keep my page open for me? So what I want to do is glue this on now on the back. So it will be, um, I pulled my glue in. It will be um, functional. So that's what I'm looking for. It'll be a functional tag, not just a waste of, oh, look how pretty. What's it good for? We don't want to hear you say that want to hear you say oh look how pretty oh look you can even write on it i mean you could write on the back and the white but i don't know i kind of like the lines just again preference preference so let's see if i can help retrace my crooked lines Jada got canvases, paint alcohol inks, beautiful places, big shot embellishments, and total unrelated, a new blender. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Jada. 
Get her done now. No excuse. No excuse for no pictures in the group of what you made with all those supplies. Hey. That seems kind of logical to me. That if you put the pages in first, then you got you got the and you know, another thing is, and then you can decorate from that bend out. Yeah, another thing with having your pages in first is you can see the bulkiness too. So, like me, if you decorate your pages like I do, very simple and easy. Uh huh. You know, no fuss, no muss. <laughs> April, did you just choke, hon? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> My pages are so simple and you know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, but I did, find, I did figure out how to use all them templates. <laughs> templates, which templates? For the scan and cut. Yes, I told you. I showed you. Yeah, but I went on there this morning and looked at them. I'm going to buy some of those lace ones. Oh, my gosh. You are? Yes. Okay, so very good. Hope you uh, share with me. Oh, I'll uh, let you watch me do them, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened to me? Go, girl. Glue. I guess I just left the lid on one too many times. So... How cute is this page we or this little insert we just did? How cute is this? It's just simple, easy peasy. This needs a little something here. It sure does. Let's see if I have any flowers cut out. I don't want to use a bulky flower. I'm pretty sure I cut lots of stuff out. And I'm sure some of them were flowers. There's a butterfly. There's this another little butterfly. Where's all the, the little tiny flowers? That's not it. There's one. Wonder Hi, that, Cynthia. wonder if that will work. Oh, wait, there's more. It's so simple. Right, KK? Oh, that's not working. I need something round. Like maybe some of this. I should trim it off. Hey. Hey. Any more flowers that I could use that are rounded kind of? Fairy dust. Hey. I don't see anything in here that I could really use. Unless there... Oh, how did that get in there? Oh, little birdies. Oh, my cute. Give me my little birdie that cut. And I fussy cutted these. Uh, nope. How about a circle medallion? Can't get any more circly round than that. We could just make that to a little tuck. There we go. And we'll tuck the fairy dust thing in there. Why not? Okay. Oh, we'll tuck the butterfly in there. Yeah, Christine says Ruby's definition of simple is very different than ours. <laughs> That's no it, doubt. It, no, come on, guys. Don't pick on me. I think we'll use that. Exactly. Don't listen to April. She's a bad influence. I am not. I am a good girl. <laughs> She's accusing me of not making simple, guys. You know I'm simple. April's halo has been broken many times. <laughs> so is mine. <laughs> Yours just fried up and disappeared. <laughs> Say what? I said yours just fried up and disappeared. <laughs> Hi, Esme. Hi, Esme. Hi, Hi, Esme. All right. So I'm wondering if I should brad this or just get her done and stick it on. I think I'm just going to stick it on and make this little tuck spot with, I'm going to use, uh, um, whatchamacallit, my thingamajigger. Okay, I'm just going to glue it on. I'm going to use a uh, paper clip. That's the word. Damn it, I'm sorry. 
Prayers so, to Johanna. We will leave the rest of it open for a tucky spot. Where are you? So that way it covers up that piece that's showing on the back side, you know. And because that white's showing there, let me just camouflage that a little bit. So simple. So, so simple. So now we made another functional thingamajigger. <laughs> I forget what I was saying. The thingamajigger. So we can journal on this fairy dust card. Uh huh? And we can even journal on this card. Uh huh? So easy. What's so hard about cutting a piece of design out like this and inking up the edges and gluing it down? Seriously, what is so hard about that? So I think I will lay those two on top of each other like the Valia. Mm -hmm. Tuck them in the little tucky spot here. Oh shit, I glued it down too far. Get up. Get out. Let's get the glue out. Fix it. Actually, I'm going to fold it back. So I am even. Okay. Now let's see if these will fit. Probably glued it too much. I'm too crooked. Christine is asking how much the book weighs. Mm -hmm. That's a silly question. That's a good question. That's a silly Probably question. Probably 5,000 pounds, you know, because it's so simple. Leave me alone. And it doesn't have hardly anything in it. And there's no fuss or muss. Nope. None. None at all. At all. Let's get a rusty old paper clip. Oh, this one's perfect. Wipe some of the black off of these since my rust job went black. Okay, and I can't stand the feel of rust. Well, what would you say it weighs like a pound? I don't know. It's really not that heavy. I've made thicker, bigger, you know. All right, so we're going to use that to hold in. We need something on the paper clip, man. No, I can't put anything on that. I cannot afford to bulk this. All right. I really and truly don't like what I've done with this medallion. So we're ripping it off. Good, because I didn't like it neither. No. So let's just get another circle. Ephemera. And look at, I ruined that. It's all your fault. All your fault, Melissa. Because I have another one. <laughs> and Martha doesn't like it. But I no. have to I have to put it back. And this time I'm not gonna glue it on that much. I like to mess with her. No, I don't like I love to mess with her. And we'll just fix up my little itty bitty cuck a mess I made there. Okay. Now we're just going to glue a little bit. So I'm only going to go here. For sure. And a little down here. I think that's good. And that's all we need. Glued. And we need this to be straight. Okay. There we go. Now let's tuck you in. There, much better. And it's also not going to give me a hard time and to close in here. That's the sole reason I redid it. So because these pieces here were way too close to that page. So that's done. That's perfect. On to the next one. Oh, look, it's already done because I messed up. And this one here is pretty much done. We just got to open it and create a tag for our inserts in for it. So, didn't mean to glue it all shut. 
Look at how simple pimple this is. Simple, simple wimp. Okay. So I'm not going to do too much to this. I think this is very pretty. You can journal on there and you can journal on there. So I think all it really needs is a little butterfly. And it says fly. It's so pretty. Get rid of the white on the edges. That's the only reason why I'm inking these up is just so you don't see the, the white edges that I actually hand cut this out. Okay. Well, we're going to glue it down about that much. And then I'm going to just camouflage the back of it by just inking it up. So that's all I'm going to do with the back of this. And that way you can journal on it with a little bit of ink on there. You don't want to put anything else on that. And now I want to, hmm, let me see. I know I got some journaling cards from... Gen of Eve, and I think these might work. We will see if these will fit. Yes, they do. Oh, they fit in here so perfect. So, so perfect. So, there are some of Genevieve's new uh, embellishments. I think they need little. Um, which you call it dividers on them. What do you guys think? Little pull tabs. Do you agree or disagree? Each one needs a little pull tab, I think. Sure, why not? Right. See, I knew I knew April was a good girl. Because you know it, it would just make it so much more simple. There you go. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for having confidence in me that I make simple things. This is kindergarten work. I guess we should put the lid back on. Someday I'll learn to put this back on. Okay, so we'll do one, two, three pretty little tags. So let's just grab a piece of this beautiful paper. Okay. And we will cut some tags out of it. Out of something. Hi, Talise. Hi, everybody that just came in. Ooh, I don't want to cut that one. That one's kind of pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, I want to pull that out. I'll probably use that. Forgot all about these, guys. Hey, I'm so silly. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay. So. We will cut. I need something a little more darker. No, that's not the way the song goes. It's not we will cut you. It's we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, why don't uh -huh. I use my teacher? I will have you know that when we went to the grocery store after the award ceremony with Jax, he told everyone that he saw in the store that he's part of the Crafty Chicks. <laughs> he did yeah. <laughs> what a sweetheart yes oh my, the crafty oh my god he is and such you're not a ladies guy. anymore you're all crafty chicks crafty chicks eh yes okay I can accept that I accept all right he yeah. thinks I should be live with Crafty Chicks 24-7. Oh. I said, little do you know, I usually am. So, there is one. And 
think I'm going to shorten that a little bit because it is quite long. So there's one little cute little butterfly divider. Hey. Okay. Hey, Barbara. Oh. Hey, Barbara. Got up too early. We will trim you. And one more little easy peasy simple little divider. Look how easy this was. To make your own cute little dividers with the actual paper that you're using. So simple. Don't even ask me to show you again because you don't need another lesson. Just ask April. She'll tell you. All right, so there's my three dividers. Let's get some more room okay. back on my desk. Okay, so we need to ink you up. Nikki says, I'm off to lunch. Catch you all on my phone in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> She's on lunch. That's a little too big of a piece sticking out, so. I love these little pull tabs in journals because I think they look really beautiful. Yeah, they, and they give it. Yeah, and they give it a lot of character. So I think so. That's just my opinion, and it's so simple. The world's simplest journal, and that is why I titled it "Pretty Simple Junk Journal." Can't they get any more simpler than this? All right, so let's put our little pulley tabs on these because I think those look so darn cute. Hey, and they're sparkly. Ha ha ha. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everything's better with sparkles. Mm hmm. So let's get it even. And that doesn't look too even. Bring it down a wee bit more. Let me have a look. Ooh, it's pretty even. Start slide over a wee bit. Okay. One little tabby. Where's your brayer? Hmm. It's got glue all over it. I haven't cleaned it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Um. Doesn't roll nice. Yeah. Kind of lumpy. A little bit. Mhm. Mm and I just have to soak it in the sink with some hot soapy water, and all the glue comes off. Just kind of rubs off of it, really. All right. And lastly, this biggie one. Make it straight. Karen, does, KK, does your puppies get the farts after they eat eggs? I don't feed my dog eggs. No, she says she's making puppy scrambled eggs, so I wanted to know if they fart after they have eggs. Oh, probably. My Dobie sure did. All right. There we go. Now look at how cute that um, is. Katie will. Well, that's stuck. Okay. Smile on your face and show the world so all the love in your heart. One, one on a slant and one like that. So that pocket is complete. Look at how pretty. Hey. Oh, gosh. Hey. These three things to do. So these two things, I'm probably going to do the same, and this I'm just going to make this into a pocket. So I'm just going to snippity snip this open because it is an envelope like that. We have a little open envelope, which doesn't look like it's very glued well. So I'll glue it myself. Okay. 
And these ones here, let me think what I want to do. <clears throat> I need a little moment's time to think. I think I'm going to yes. embellish it. Yeah, that's what you're going to oh. do. Today is a new beginning. I am going to embellish it all right. These two here, I'm going to glue. Follow your bliss. I'm going to glue two of these together. So they probably will not match up when I flip them around. That's okay. It's okay. I just want them to match up. That's all. In the bottom. Good enough. All right. So that's how that's going to go. That's going to go over this, like this. So there's a journaling spot. But first and foremost, we're going to trim this off just so we have it made simple. And then we will do the reverse. Same on the other side. Make this very simple. What you want, Kiki? Okay. And why not? Let's just trim you down so you're smooth. Okie dokie. Now, let's put some glue down in here and make a functional tab. Did that hurt? I need some glue on this side. No, not giving it. Okay. No, let's put you there. So roughly, let's have a look. Is that even? Looks pretty good. And glue that down. And no ink. Whoops. No bending. Right? And I don't trust that to stay glued with this post it note. So. I will open that up and do it. I got glue all over my fingers and ink and it sticks to everything. Follow your bliss. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to do the same with today is a new beginning. We'll put these two together. And let's see if they fit together okay. It's perfect, aren't they? I think these ones are going to line up perfect. <clears throat> This stuff wouldn't stick to me. Alright. So, alright. I like. Where are you? Where'd you go? So, this one's gonna glue to that envelope. That's actually an envelope that we decorated. Uh, somewhere in this book. Oh no, we haven't got to that yet. Oh, let's push this down. Let's see, it's all the way down. Come on, stop moving. And that don't look very even, straight. Okay, now it does. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull this open because I don't trust the post-it note glue. Well, no, it's a post-it note. It's supposed to rip off. Yeah, it, it'll split open if they write on it or something like that. So mm -hmm. we will just prevent that. Mm -hmm. so that does not happen. And I think that is super cute. What a great idea, Rips. Look at that. Just dress those little flaps up. Yeah, oh, cute. cute. Isn't that adorbs? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Where did my pin go? Did I finally? No, I didn't lose it. 
I thought you had a magnet on that thing. It fell off. It stuck to my scissors, actually. But <laughs> when I was cutting out, um, um, uh, cut note stuff. So I wonder if this is big enough to put on each side this fabric. Oh, uh, it actually is. Sorry. So what I could do, I will trim it though. I will glue. I will fold it over like this. More tea, more tea. Wake up, wake up. That. Okay. Thinking of all the things I should be doing today, and it's like, oh. Why not I'm use this have. up? This is so pretty. This hummingbird fabric that I made. Ooh, it is cute. Yes. And then I will fold this over. And then I will just tack a wee bit of glue on there. So what I'm going to do now is take this off. Because that's just going to decorate up the pocket. That's all I'm trying to do. Give it a bit of difference. You want the window open? No. I think we can and open the window. A wee bit. It is a wee bit too long. This area. And... We will do it this way, and I'm going to use hot glue to hold this down because I'm working with fabric. So. And I, I just can't okay. quit yarning. So before I get the glue on it, let me make sure this little sleeve is going to fit over this pocket. And it is. How many ladies in the chat room uh, was a follower of Ruby's beating? I would like to know. Raise your hand. Okay, I'm going to just distress this a bit. And distress it here. All right. Let's get it glued on. So what I'm going to do is put the glue on this actual piece because it's all paper. Good shred with paper. No, oh, don't tell me that didn't type out. Okay, Johanna. I'm Toby. Oops. Okay, well, my favorite bracelet of all hers is this one. Y'all remember this one, the snowflake one? My favorite, right? Well, check it out in a different color. Hot pink and white. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. I like to make one with like about three or four different colors in it. Wonder how that look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't make the little points of the star, the starfish, the snowflake. Very. I use less beads to make it more of a flower look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody likes it. There's another bracelet I really, really, really want to try to make. Um. I have not tried making it that you made. Oh, God, I can't think of the name of it. We'll have to go look. All right. I think that kind of worked out pretty well. <clears throat> pretty easy peasy. So let's give it a nice little burnish down 
Now let's put a little bit of talcum powder in there because I've got some glue in there. And we don't want it to stick anywhere in there. There we go. Hi. Hi. Now, for that, all I'm going to do is take some paper. Which one? Maybe some of these pinky ones. And I think I'm just going to fold them over like this. We'll see how this works. And make a little tiny journal book and stick it in there with a little tab on it. That is what we're going to do. So one of these has to be folded this way. Okay, With those burnish this like crazy. Nikki yeah. was having a little misfit, and don't know if I want to actually sew this. Oh just no. Leave it loose. I think that's all I'm going to do is just leave it loose. Make a little pouch. But it, it does need um, a little tab. So when you open it up, you can still journal on those. Yes. I wonder if I should use a sticker. Well, I can't find your old beading page. What do you mean you can't find it? Well, what was the name of it? Just look up Paper Craft with Friends. Oh, that's what I thought I had. Hello. I can't even Hi, see Mary. Hi, hey, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hey, Martha. Okay. I haven't seen it. Hey, April. Penny. I don't even have that. Mm. What you doing? Hey Mary! Hey April. You enjoying your day off? Hi Toby! I always have a day off. And, oh, Bernadette's there too now. Hi Bernadette. I'm at Ruby, but thanks for answering. Oh, I'm, I am I'm enjoying my day off, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of yeah. thought you were talking to me. Hey, I did too. Yeah, it's all right. It's April. We know. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? I was this close to hitting the button to buy a new laptop. And why didn't and you? Oh, I'm cheap. Oh, I just I just didn't want to spend the money, even though there's a um, an employee purchase program. Yeah, that's where, what I have too. Yeah. But I was like, the the PC was or the laptop was fifteen hundred, and I would have gotten it for eleven hundred. Nice. But still, I'm thinking I have one more payment on my couch, and that's done. I paid right. it a month early, so I was figuring I'll wait until I pay that one next month and then do it. That's a great idea. Yeah, got to do something like that. I'll be spending all this money on myself. <laughs> what? Yeah. Sure you can, there. No one else more worth it. Oh, Penny, how are you, dear? How are you doing? God, these are baked. Yuck. There. That is ever cool. Ever so cool. That just bulked up my book after I said I'm not going to bulk it anymore. Whoopsies! I made a boopsie. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I did bulk it with that particular pocket, but look at how cute these are. The Dreamweaver bracelet. 
All right, I'm going to take some of these out. One I want to try. Because it is ridiculously bulky. And I mean ridiculously. Bye, Therese. She's got a doctor appointment. Bye. Have a good doctor appointment. Now, I wonder if I just stuck them in there without folding them. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Might be. And it's not so bulky. And we don't have to, you know, get upset. Because I have so much bulkness in this book. We're getting close to the end. I know that. Hallelujah. And I'm not being very particular on how messy I do the edging. So, there we go. I like what is left. This I am going to leave alone. Uh, oh, my God. That's just the middle. Can't be. We got that. We got these. Oh, Jesus. One more of those. Oh, geez. Okay, so these I'm just going to stamp with my note thing for notes. Not going to bulk it up. Notes. Notes. And we're going to do the same on the other half of it. Oh, shoot. That didn't turn out nice. The wrong button. Oh, look at that. And then we are almost to the end. I'm going to do something with that. So all I'm going to do is decorate this with a nice big-ass sentiment. That's what we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. Enjoy life. How many pages are in the book, Ruby? Oh, my God. I have no idea. No idea. There's a lot in here and a lot that I created, like these do, little... Do each one of the, um, the um, what you jiggies, what do you call them, things, signatures, have the same amount of paper in them? Yeah, there's four signatures with uh, four sheets folded in half makes eight. So there's... Plus, plus all the other stuff. 36. What is that? What? Oh boy. Or it could have been the cat. Oh. Uh oh, one of the dogs ate one of Jeff's plants. Tomatillo plant. Oh, sick. Yep, they ate the leaves. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah. So, kind of like that. Oh, I just love these. These post it notes are cool. So, yeah, there is. Um, Four signatures, four pages, fold in half, so that's eight. So there's 32 pages just of these paper ones. And then I don't remember how many sheets i done in these little laminated books. 
like what do you call this like a composition book but these are removable so you can take them out and put new ones in because they're in elastics but those are the two and there's two of them i made and then look there's my zipper pocket which i absolutely love and i love this shaker compartments one in there 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 and there and there's a shaker part inside see it's all shaker hey look how cute so that's a shaker tag pocket that i created it's got a little bit of glue on there, there, there we go. what size are those rhinestones you got in there in where in your shaker card or what yeah. are those aren't rhinestones those are all um sequins all the nouveau ones that i got all the new oh. nouveau confetti they're actually confetti they're not sequins they look like sequins they're so pretty they're nouveau they're the nouveau um confettis and that here i didn't do this on camera but that is this page here and i sealed it with my fuse tool and i put cardstock here to line it cardstock in its own pocket there and cardstock here and then i made these little hinges to attach it in here so it's like super pocket. yeah like it's it. super cute yeah and this colors this one's got a little different color in it it's got like more pinks i think in it yeah Shake, 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 shake that book. Yeah, it's got a lot of pinks in that, and the other side had a lot of silvers. So it's just, it's just there for decoration. So simple. So simple. <laughs> Mary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mary, okay. did you just laugh at me? You know, I liked this poster note jobby so much that I'm going to do it again. Yeah, I've been laughing at her when she says it's so simple, too, Mary. I choked once. Yeah, I had to make sure she was <laughs> resuscitated. My question is, what did she choke on? Uh -huh. My bullshit. Exactly. I doubt it. Well, she claims I was bullshitting about being simple album. But you guys know it is very simple. And it's extremely simple for you. For anybody. Mm -mm. So easy peasy. I can't get a page straight. Did you get your um, journals, your albums done, Mary, or just the boxes? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was funny. I guess we'll all laugh together. <laughs> Well, one of them I threw in the garbage. No. Because it looked like shit. You took all the pretty stuff off of it first. No. Mary. She's like me. I, There's more where that came to from. The point. Yep, I just threw it. You didn't take your sparkly embellishments and stuff off? Luckily, I didn't put any on. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, well, in that case, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. Oh, generous. And I couldn't take the paper off because it was starting to rip, so I couldn't save the paper. Hey, it's got crooked. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you're not doing that. Oh, come on, you stupid hole. What are those little thingies supposed to be? I have glue everywhere. So do I. Glue and brown ink on your fingers just don't go good together. No. It looks like shit. Baka. Yes. Little shit balls. All right. It's even funnier when you don't realize it. I literally. You rub your nose. 
I literally <laughs> have to hold this book down. Real, literally have to hold this book down. Literally? With my arm, yeah. It's not standing down. So you take this little bitty wire and you cut it into how many freaking pieces? And yeah, you want to do that? Well, you put a clamp on it and that'll hold the pages together. I tried. I don't think there's. Don't work. There's no clamp big enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mary speaks the truth. <laughs> I tried looking for one. <laughs> hey. When you want to have a journal, you don't want to have 10 of them. You want one journal for a lifetime. So that's my philosophy. Hey, why not? That's creative. Then you don't have to make, fill in 900 journals unless you do just strictly travel. And, you know, just strictly family. I'd like to see Ruby do a wedding one, like the first 10 years. Yeah, t first 10 years, eh? Well, oh. I don't know. You don't want to do an 80 year, you know? Well, you'd only do 10 pages, double sided. A who has a wedding album of 10 years? Are you going to get married every year? For anniversary. <laughs> yeah, like the first 10 years of marriage. Oh, oh <laughs> well, I better find a lot of lawyer papers and stuff. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, God, y'all. <laughs> what is that? It's Laura. Oh. She got the hiccups? No, she's, she's laughing. She's laughing. <laughs> what is she laughing at? You? Me? <laughs> what I do? You're going to draw up the lawyer papers? About getting married every year, you're going to draw up all the lawyer papers? <laughs> well, there's your journal. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey. So I think that's all I'm going to do there. I think that's really cute. Don't you? I really need some freaking tweezers. I love that. Are you, sure? you don't have any tweezers? No, it didn't come with any. I mean, you don't have any, like, at home kind of dollar store ones even? No. Well, Laura does. I got all sorts of tweezers. Laura, dad and mama pair right of tweezers. I even got, uh, who is glass? Man, my scissors are magnetic. Everything keeps sticking to them. <laughs> oh, my God, Becky. Oh, my God, Becky. You mean you have that on your desk have and you the clothes and they work real well. What the heck? Boy, when they say that you need to cut this stuff little, they really, really mean it. Yeah, what do you think I've been cutting? No, these are for the pegs on the guitar. Okay. The tuning pegs. Seems like I have so much left to do. But Anyway, this needs a decoration, so I think it's going to get There's a size of a flipping beautiful grain of pepper. <laughs> oh, that's the right size? <laughs> it sure is. It's the right size. Oh, sight. I need three pair of glasses. You got that house already? Do you, guys, do you guys get mail service today? Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, sh I should pick a bucket. All right, it's not getting the pegs and the strings. Screw that. Bernadette will be married 39 years in July. Well, congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Poor woman. Barbara's been married 33. Oh, jeez. Here Mine was 24, April 1st. Mine oh, barely God. lasted three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you're married to true. You're married to the same husband, April? Yeah. No, she got married every year. No, I got married every year to the same guy. Oh, no. Didn't you get divorced first and then get married every year? Oh, or no. Just, did you... Got 
married every year. Yes, I've been married oh. to the same man every, for 24 years. Oh, I wow. Do you want to? I need to go quickly to the puppy. And Jeff's calling me. I, I know that's the dog a, a another rarity place. that people stay married anymore, but yeah. Once is enough. My husband's parents have been married 53 years. Wow. Um, his father only has partial hearing because of the work that he did. I said, yeah, that's the reason. I said, if I lost part of my hearing, you and I'd stay married 53 years too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he doesn't eat much popcorn, does he? No, not allowed. <laughs> as soon as that popcorn machine starts going, you know she's gone to Jersey. My parents were married 68 years. How many? 68. They were married July 1st, 1950. Are they 100 years old? My dad, they're both in their 90s. Oh, shit, they're close to 100. Wow. Congratulations. Are they both deaf or just one? Neither. They're both alive. No, no. Deaf. Deaf. They can't hear. Neither neither are deaf. Really? Yeah. See, I thought you had to be either deaf or blind in order to stay there that long. Huh. I guess they actually... I guess they actually love one another. I took okay. a lot of walks and bike rides, and my dad, you know, did a lot of yard work. Time apart makes for a good marriage. Yeah. Separate hobby. That's what I think. Yeah, because trust me, 24 7 with Herb was hell. It is not getting. But he liked to do his yard work, and it's like, ah, okay, I got some peace and quiet for a little bit. Somebody's starting to complain about my uh, craft room. That I'm spending so much time there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. Uh huh. Where were you spending the time before that? With the covers over my head in bed. Okay, so that was the point then. I'd well, say that's what he, upgrade. He, oh, yeah, you, he says, well, you're happy and you're in there and everything. That's That's all I wanted. Now it's like, oh. No, you're never in here. <laughs> That's right. Where did all these things go to? Um, these instructions are not very clear. All right, let's put the lights together. I think the secret to also to a long lasting relationship is a king size bed and do not share blankets. Because <laughs> nobody's stealing blankets. Nobody gets uncovered. Yep. Jenny, this is so funny because I have an oversized king bed. We have our own quilts. <laughs> yeah. We That's right. Same as us. We each have our own blanket. I'm not even joking because we find it over covers. Yeah. I don't move in the night, and Tony does. And then, like, and then I end up getting, you know. Plus, he likes hot blankets. He's hot all the time, and I, I like a light blanket. So, well. and then, like, I have to, I have to tell you all this, okay? I have a pillow, okay? Like, you know how everybody has like a favorite pillow, whatever. Yeah. I have a pillow. My favorite pillow. We would actually. I'm not kidding you. We would fight over my pillow. I'm like, why are we fighting over my pillow? It's my pillow. Right? <laughs> like, it, it would get intense. I'm not even joking. Over a pillow. It seems so stupid, but no, you gotta understand. This is a good pillow. Yeah, it's like, why is it everything you know, that, that I need to use to sleep? They want. <laughs> Somehow, every blanket that I have ever purchased for myself ends up on him. Such as a penguin blanket that was gifted to me by a friend like three years ago. All of a sudden, this past winter, it's him that uses it all winter. I didn't get to use it. 
my favorite Go to Dollar Tree. Check the girls with you. No, I didn't just try to zoom in on Ruby's desk. I was trying to see that key, and I'm sitting here trying to zoom in. At um, uh, Mission, they're only 50 cents today. All their books are half off. Do the movie and, and sit there and actually turn your head thinking you're going to get a better angle. Yeah. Oh yes, I was. Every time I do that, I just think, oh, what an idiot I am. <laughs> if people can see me now, they'll never let this one go. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned my hands. Well, I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, this actually today will be the last video I do live streaming on this particular channel. I will officially be moving to my other channel tomorrow. And tomorrow, I am starting to make a baby rag quilt. So, um, I'm going to show you step by step. I'm not going to do anything off camera. I'll make sure I show you guys every step of making a baby rag quilt. You can make a lap quilt. Um, but the rag quilt is the most simplest quilt to make to yeah, start right. with, for starters. I'm serious, you'll see. They are. It's, it's simple. It, it really is simple. simple. Ask KK, see? It, it really is simple. Yeah. yeah, then once you get the knack of that, then we're gonna get into some piecing. Uh, cutting pieces, uh, sewing them together, and flipping them all different ways and showing you different ways to make quilt blocks. So, yeah, maybe we'll make a crazy quilt, and yeah. once a week I'll make a block, and we will just keep building these blocks and make a crazy quilt with all different kinds of block patterns. What the hell is a block? A quilt block. It's, I mean, it, okay, so go ahead like... So all the blocks together. Okay, so here's a quilt block, Mary. This is a quilt block. We'll just, for example, say this is a 10 by 10 square. So it ends up being 10, 10 all the way around. But in this quilt block, you're going to have a pieces in it sewed together, and you're going to have, it's, for example, like a star shape um, in your in your square. No, this way I'm going. What am I doing? Oh, Great. yeah, I remember you showed us that. That's yes. right, how you would turn it different ways. Right, yeah. and then you could piece it here, put a piece here, and you would make these triangles. But what you would do is you would sew two squares together all the way around, and then you would sew a line this way and a line quarter inch this way, and then you would cut it here, flip it open, you've got... Uh, already your, your two pieces. You'll see what I mean. But I'm not getting into that kind of difficult quilting for a while till some people get the knack and learn how to quilt. I don't want to just slap you in the face with they, Right, some, they need to learn the block of nine first. Yes. And the very simple block of nine. nine. Actually, they're going to learn a block of four before they learn a block of nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> block of four. They say a hard one to do is the mariner's point. Is it? Not really. Nothing's hard to do. No, I, mean, I even no, want to teach you guys. I want to show you the hexagon it's blocks beautiful. I made. Oh God, and good. I made a tree skirt. And that tree skirt turned out freaking beautiful. Wait, and I really you did want a to show quilt? It. Yes. I did a tree skirt. Not... Same difference, though. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, but just, you don't understand the hexi quilt at that. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Okay, well, I've got a template that I made myself. Me and Jeff measured all eight sides to make sure they were all the same so I could get a perfect hexagon shape. And it turned out so pretty. I do have pictures of that on my Facebook back a few years ago when I was still living at the other place. We weren't even in this house yet when I made that. Hexa quilt. Well, I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. I'm not quilt. It's a hexagon, and it's in a circle, and it goes around the bottom of my tree. It is gorgeous, and I did it all in Christmas fabrics. 
Mm. I have so much. I mean, it's very, it's a very time consuming, like the one I'm making Maya. It's a very time. You're working with teeny tiny triangles. And this, this, each block was very time consuming, just one. And I think I had like 10 of them only in a circle. I can't remember really. It's packed away. It's with my Christmas stuff. So I will pull it out one of these days. Okay, so I'm going to make sure you're, that I'm, I'm thinking of the same thing. Okay, so you made the tree skirt like a hexagon, or you took hexagon pieces and pieced the hexagons together? I made a hexagon block. It was completely finished with all hexagon when it was done. Then I sewed them together. Oh, my. Okay, yep. That's what yes. I was thinking. I can't wait yeah, to see that's, it. Oh, my God. When I go find it on my Facebook, because it's got to go back what, quite a few years, Um. I think I will uh, tag me. I will post it so you guys can see it. I'll post it in the group too, so they can see it. Hi, Kathleen. That's just something yeah. I'm not going to teach you guys right off the bat. That's just not going to happen. Mm -mm -mm. That would be too discouraging. Yes. That's more of an advocate quilter. That's more of an advanced, a uh, long, many year kind of quilter person. Yeah. That is just not something easy. It's a very complicated technique to do. But once you get the technique of it, you can just move it along like nobody's business. Mm. Yeah, so I think I want to cut out her for this side of the pocket. <coughs> this to be... Here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. You go, Evan. There. What are you getting something what for? And that'd probably be me saying that he's scratching the hell out of my leg. There. All right. Okay. Did I really just drop that freaking well then I'm not making the drum set. I'm going to get like squares on. There's one piece. I have another pair of glasses in here that I could wear, but I don't know what happened to them. So this will be the front of that pocket and the back of that pocket. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kathleen. Love it. I think I Hi, need Kathleen. this for the front. So actually, I'm just going to cut this in half. Hi, Kathleen. So I'm just going to cut this one in half. Hey. Perfect. It's still perfect. All right. So I got that down pat. So that's going to go there. Get off. This is going to go here. And this is going to have a tab on it. No. How about my little birdie? No. All right, so that did not. How about this? No. <laughs> All right. Let's find something else then. Hey. Uh, hey, I see a little skeleton key. Hey. Uh-huh. How about make a pocket? Uh -huh. So we'll have three little pockets, but this one here, we're going to trim it down. Okay, so time to help put some weight on that. Okay, it's going to be a little bit longer. So, cute, cute, cute. I knew this was going to be a little bit more bulkier because of the three pockets. But you never can have enough pockets. Just saying. It's really kind of amazing how a little staining can take a picture to a totally different level. Right? Yeah. Sure does. Okay, so let me glue. Let me glue the sides together. That's the start. OK. 
Okay, and <clears throat> camouflage any white that may be shown. <clears throat> okay. What time does Heather get off work? Can you stop being a dick and just open? Thank you. But it doesn't want to. It doesn't like gravy. It's going to go right about there. All right. So, I'm going to put some glue on it. Go to here. I'm going to glue. Ruby needs to make up her own glue and call it simple glue. All yeah. right. So simple glue. Man, that's you dirty pygmy. I was gonna, oh my God. I was just going to say, call it dirty pygmy glue. And then she said it. Yeah. I just got a cold chill. All right. So. Oh, that's cool. Kathleen, thanks. Uh, it's fun. I think we think it's fun. Do we think it's fun? Yes. Okay. That's now, a fun. I need to put a little bit of glue here to close it. A little bit. Just a little. Little dab will do you. I don't even know why I washed my hands. Unless they're just covered in glue again. Okay. All right. So that side pocket is done. Now I need to just put my arm on this. Oh shoot. Give me a piece of paper. Oh, goodness. We will, we will. Lucky. You. Yeah. Your your package is in currently in transit to your destination. Still? <laughs> well, I just sent it last week. Should have been here by now. Uh, no, because I wouldn't send it at the speedy way because that would have been way over $150. Oh, I'm just joking. Because <laughs> yesterday it passed through Toronto and it's on its way to you. Oh, it already cleared customs? Yeah. Oh, it said customs release on it? It doesn't say that. Then it hasn't cleared customs. It says it's processed through Toronto and it's, it's already leaving Toronto or left Toronto. Oh, okay. Currently in transit to destination is what it says. Just love how these envelopes aren't glued on the things. Yeah. Okay. What's Hi, Christy question? Love. Good morning. Hubby is welding my exhaust for truck and it's making my lights flicker. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Triple A. In the console between mine and daddy's chair, will you get me two triple A batteries, please? I have paint water right here. I just must be for that suitcase. It's leather. How many? Two. Um, I want to check and make the. Oh, brother. Where are you? Huh, right here. I want to make sure all of these lights work before I put them in place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There, because I Here we have nice pocket here. 
Hallelujah. Did you see the new box I posted? The purple one? I did. Mm -hmm. It's yes, I, did. I have not yet, Mayor. Um, you know who that one's going to? No. Yeah. Penny. It's the no uh -huh. way. Oh, it's pennies. It's purple. It's pennies. My God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like that. Mm -hmm. Mic drop. I'm really happy with that. Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> jaw drop. Somebody, oh, somebody pick Penny up off the floor. It should be jaw drop. Yeah, that too. And now that's going to bruise. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to give you know to send everybody there. Five times, four, five times. Huh? I keep I've looked at that picture four or five times. All right. So I gotta remember not to glue right there. So I'm just gonna put the glue down. Amazing. Yeah, since I can't get the journals to come together in time, I'm gonna I'm just gonna send the boxes out with um, stuff in it. Oh, no stuff required. That box is that's going in my bedroom. That purple one was very pretty. It matches my bedroom. <laughs> and what's Martha's favorite color? Green. What is it? Is it green? I like all sorts of colors, but I collect a lot of green glass. Yeah, I like green. Pale green or light green? I mean, pale green or dark green? Mixture of both. Damn. You like the army green color? Actually, like olive green? Um, no, more of like a regular green. Okay, green. I go looking for regular green. <laughs> and yellow, I like yellow. And... I don't have anything yellow. I don't know. I like lots of colors, I like purple, pink. Okay, if I made you a box, what color do you want? <laughs> That's a lot easier. Okay. No, no, you just figure it out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, fine. fine. Martha, lean forward. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> that was <It's> hard. <laughs> How the light box doesn't work? Well, dead. Well, that one is not quite... Closed. That one is cool. No, the third. That one is cool. Yeah, the third that you four three. That one did not close. Wow. Seventy two. I have red. Do you like red? Why don't I? Uh, <laughs> no, I like green. I can't get I'm green. Oh my god, this is killing me. That's so Bright green, lime green. You like Kelly green? You don't like the grass outside? Mm -hmm. Those are my cameras. Mm -hmm. Camera green? Oh my god. There's one in my closet that's open. <laughs> it's really oh my god, my light thing doesn't work. Your what doesn't work? My light pack. What do you mean it doesn't work? Are the wires crossed? Not connecting the wires the other the wires way. Hooked the way it says to hook them. Well, they're probably backwards, so you got to do it the way they did it backwards. I right. did it the way they did it. Well, I'm reverse it. Reverse it. No reverse it. They did it backwards and put the instructions incorrectly. Come on, woman, think outside the box. What the hell? But I'm not in a box. Yes, you are. Yeah, you the are. The box that's on the screen. I can see it. Well, yeah. What color are your wires? The box on the street. What you color know, are your box, wires? When I was living on the street, my box got wet so because of all the rain. What color are your wires? 
black and red, white and gray. Uh, black goes to the gray and the red goes to the white. That's the way I had it. Well, then you don't have it twisted properly. Or they have it wrong. Okay, I've tried it both ways. It doesn't work. Maybe you have the battery upside down. Well, there's two AAA batteries in here, and they're the right direction. I've never had a light set not work. The batteries is dead. They're but brand new batteries. Doesn't mean anything. And they're energizers. Oh. What if you? <laughs> She's letting us know they work. Okay, we got it. So. What if you were to just take the wires and put them directly to the battery? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> My lights aren't working. Now your lights aren't working? Nope. My well, light wherever you bought that, write to the company and tell them they'll send you new, new power. That means I can't put it together until I get the... well, You can get some dollar store lights. No, the dollar store ones won't work in there. Oh. No, there's too many of those. This only has three lights in it. Okay. So there's red. Right. You'll have to contact. It's negative. 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 That click plate and just say lighting no working. And I got it from Amazon, so Amazon's good about taking it back. Yeah. I've already put everything together. Well, you could tell the phone them and tell them, explain to them that the lights that came in it, you followed the tutorial and it, you're doing it the step by step way, and you just discovered the lights don't work. Yes, tell them you you followed the tutorial. Yes, the tutorial. <laughs> I always follow the tutorial. <laughs> the tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> Look at Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he said. Stick your tongue on the positive note. Do you feel a buzz? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine if it were a uh, nine volt. <laughs> Jeffrey just told her to lick a battery. But it's not a nine volt, Jeffrey Marie. There we go. Oh, I got it. I just slapped it and it worked. Uh -huh. I bet she did everything we just told her to do. Okay, so yeah. guys, what no. do you think of this page? I just tapped it on the. I like, right I like the color. Color what? what? Cute. She likes the color. I like it. Oh, okay. Now Even though it's one, not green. One more thing to do. And I want to get <laughs> Mary, Mary. I know. Mary. Mary. The look at the green on the leaves on the piece of paper that Ruby has sitting on her I think I'm going to make this dark. envelope. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna do what I want. This is the last thing I need to do. Of course you are. You're Mary. Make it in the shape of mm -hmm. a shamrock. <laughs> <laughs> a froggy, a green frog. Oh, and it did say that it came with a thing of glue, a uh, ruby, but it didn't come in the package. It was supposed to, but didn't. Really? Yep. You really got hosed. More than usual. Uh, <laughs> so funny. You all missed that. Who just did that laugh? April. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. All right. There's my lights. Those are done. That's all done. That's a oh, fuck. Now I got to make this goddamn suitcase shit. We're live. We're live. Oh, sorry. My bad, y'all. I know, charm jar. What am I making, Christy? I am making a little bar scene. Yes. One of those miniatures for my husband. And a little tiny dart board and everything on the wall. Today is his birthday, day, and I'm making it for him birthday. day. Are you taking him out, or are you going to cook for him? Uh, he asked for uh, taco salad, so I'm making it. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're poisoning him, huh? Mm. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Although, that 
<laughs> you do have a pretty good size life insurance policy. That's what I keep telling my husband. That I could buy so. a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. But it's a good threat because I tell him, I know mine isn't as... If, if anything happens to me, it's not as large as the one that I have on you. So just remember that. Is he more dead than alive? He is. And that's what he said. I said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're still his beneficiary. Yeah, Laura lucked out. She's still her excess beneficiary. Shh, don't tell him. Oh, he knows. Oh, oh maybe he doesn't remember. Yeah, he does. Laura, why don't you use the corkscrew? Because I asked you for it like seven times already, and you wouldn't answer me, so I'm using the <laughs> 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 Children, children, children. She's just trying to empty the last little bit of a bottle of Chardonnay so she can have the bottle. <laughs> the potato peeler's not working. Feed it to the plant. Well, yeah, potato peelers don't work for bottles. <laughs> right? <laughs> potato peeler. It's around here somewhere. All right. So... That was my scissors, you freak! No, what are you doing, Roots? Oopsies. Christy, I'm on the panel with CBI Unicorn. One change name. Still can get in on this account, and I don't know why it's great. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, Shirley. Shrimp. 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 Okay, girls. We have Bella and then her little friend from school. They only had a partial day today. It sounds like Bella's torturing the girl. Go no, they're, they're doing musically. Oh, musically. Yeah, my granddaughter's a musically freak. So is Bella. Great. Right. Tax even does it. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear it earlier, Mary. We went what? to Walmart after school. I mean, after Bella's award ceremony this morning. And we went in the craft section because I needed to get some more magnetic sheets. And Jax is telling everybody about the crafty chicks. And he's oh, one of the crafty it. chicks, but he's a rooster. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, apparently he tells his teacher that he's part of the crafty chicks too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and what Five she years say? old tells everybody about crafty chicks. Well, you know when he grows up, what do you he want? wants to be part of the crafty. He's going to be yes. a crafter. He like said that he, in his little book that when he grows up, he wants to be a crafter just like his Nana. Aww. Right. Well, that's kind of special. Yeah. Well, we know he's special. That's just really sweet. Yeah, I'm not putting that saxophone on there. Saxophone looks stupid. I think you're broken. Um, maybe you need to know how to use it. Yeah, you had it upside down, ding dong. Oh my god, she is not my child. She, when she acts, when she does stuff like that, she's my husband's child. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. Perfect. So perfect. Well, why am I doing this? Well, you can journal on the back of this one. And you can journal on the back of the other one.
right, guys. My lunch is over. I gotta go. Bye, Mary. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, Mary. You all have a great day, too. You I'll too, Mary. You Bye, Mary. I gotta go clean my truck out. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to put anything on those because it's just going to bulk them out. Then again, what's a little more bulk, right? right. Oh, it's so simple. So simple. So simple. What's a little more bulk? Amongst friends. Dry me a river. We don't have to worry about. Just feel it. You don't have to take it off. You that one, we will give. No. Ooh, let's give a copper one to this one, and the other one's gonna be brown. Use a brown. All right. Okay. Beautiful. I noticed on my crap, Ruby, that the little square thing on the end that goes into that punch, it rotates. You yes, it, it does. Are they? It's for different types of eyelet sizes and stuff. You know? Well, how do you know which size to use? I just keep trying them until it works. That's how I do it. No. Oh, I can see this. I'm thing. probably even using the wrong one, but they could go with you. Just test it on there before you do it. Well, that's what I did. I tried a whole bunch on a scrap piece of paper till I got the right, right one. Ah, okay. But mine's orange. Oh. Yeah. And you got it for three bucks. Wow. Yeah. That is just like a steal and a half. Yeah. She had some darn cute little embellishments, too, like little um, plastic frames and cogs and a whole bunch of stuff. It's probably like $6 a box. And there wasn't really that much in there for six bucks. Really? Yeah. Okay. If I had more money, I'd say let's fill one box with everything and I'll buy it for, you know, eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I like the wheel and deal. Uh huh. Uh huh. The birds. Little lady. Before it rains. Should I bring all the boxes of stuff in? My chauffeur quit on me. He's supposed to take care of the car. Damn him. Man, no kidding. This is so pretty these times. Now, where is that pretty bird? I really think that bird's going to look pretty there. Why not? He needs to go on there because he's so cute. And he's simple. And he's got a dirty beak now. Go to there. Pull his feet down. His beak. You making my dirty birds? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor baby. Mm -hmm. He's just got skull on there, you know. 
And I think that looks super cool. I like it. See, the little birdie. The two little tags. Yeah, oh, darling. Actually, I'm going to make one tag a little shorter than the other. We'll do this one. So that the grommets or eyelets aren't hitting each other. That's where the bulk will be created. So if you make one shorter, the eyelets don't bulk as much. What do you think? Much better? I like, it. I like it how it looks too. Mm -hmm. Lastly, all we have is this doily to do. And I'm going to do my usual. Ooh, maybe we'll just do this. Smile. Yes. So let me trim off this white. Looks like I didn't do a very good job of cutting that. All right. Well, who cares? All right. Put you there. And go right about there. Ugh. I love the colors on that. So I'm going to put it here. The glue so I don't put too much. And then the rest will be on it here. Because I don't know how far I'm going with it. Hi, Ange. Another big one. Page is a door, but I don't like that. I'm just going to put a bit of glue under there and call it a day. Make sure it stays flat. KK mic dropper. Oh my god, I can't believe I have completed this and it is so bloody bulky. It's not completed either. I still want to put some corners. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know if I can put those corners in, but it needs something in a few pages. What kind of corners? What are you talking about corners? Little tuck spots. These things I showed you, just to tuck people. Oh, okay. Not going to do them on everyone, but I'll jump through and do some and pull these out. And cut it down and just make little tucky spots. <laughs> okay. And then we'll take a sheet of paper, fold it in half, or fold it like that. Just right. Fold that. 
pop it inside like that so it's ready to be journaled on actually i like it better like that okay um let's do one on here mm -hmm. oh wait like fits right into that little mm -hmm. yeah. and which paper let's do a it like she planned it that way mm -hmm. let's do a careful one careful good to about to fly we'll just tuck that inside okay so we'll skip that one and we'll do these two. Do a lacy edge one. Like edge punch on it. Um, I got some different corners here. Here's Bella's. Where's Bella? She's um, Bella. <laughs> Bella. Bella. Oh, sorry. Okay, Rajul, your package came back. It came back. Why? Yes, I just got it back. It says return to sender. I will send it out again. Why did it come back? Does it say why? Yeah. <laughs> um, return for, uh, yeah, it needs another 87 cents. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, I'll and just I take it when I go to the Wednesday to the post the office. All right. How did they not know that when you had it weighed or sent out or whatever? Or you didn't, you just sent it from home? Oh, she's on mute. No, I waited up when I was up there because they weren't open yet, and I didn't want to wait another 45 minutes for them to open. So from now on, I'll just go when they're open at the desk and have them do it. Yeah. But I did just get my packages for the day. <coughs> okay. Um... We already got one of those. Let's take one of these. Enjoy a little. Oh, I need two. We have two pockets. Enjoy little things. Give it one. Enjoy little things. So there's got some tuck spots. And let's add another one right here. Um, yeah, this one's good. Actually, it's not good. It needs to be trimmed off a bit more. And it needs to be cut. Glued. And put in the corner like that. Okay, where are some other paper? Some graph paper. Where did I put all that? Right here. I'll take one of these. I have to do it this way. And we'll stick it inside the bucket. 
Oh, I just got two molds in the mail. A really pretty heart and a sea turtle. Okay, that's done. Um, let's put one here. Oh, it's gotta go up. Nope. The writing is no. I'm not putting it there. Let's do this one. Paper right here. This needs one. I think it needs one right here. How about this cute little purpley one? So purple. I like watching paint dry. <laughs> well, I gotta do the closure next. But I wanna get this book completely done. Yay! Yep. No, and move on to the next project. Which is the quilt. Look, that's a purple pocket. We need purple paper. And I got purple paper. Purple butterfly paper. That one, um, we won't put one here because it's very bulky. Uh, right here is not bulky. Oh, we'll put this lady's pretty face. Oh, I can't. We can put this one. Cut it a little more of a proper angle. And And I think these tux blocks are kind of cute. Oh, let's take another one like this one. Tuck it inside. Like that. Oh, that kind of needs one over here. So where's that lady? I'm going to put that right there because I love it. Give an extra tag. 
just going to ink it up because I think this looks really pretty with the, the lady. Okay, so I've got a little bit of bulkiness down here. So, hmm, I might make one up here. Maybe up here. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not going to cut that. I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to put my bows. One of my bows. One of my bows. One of those. One of those. And I really ripped that. I'm going to get a new one. And one of these. So. Okay, let's organize them. So, this is a long one. I'm going to tear a new page out of my book because that one's ripped. I want a nicely ripped one. And we will put this one here. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, this didn't even rip any better. Damn it. I'm going to go find a new spot in here to rip. There we go. I like that one better. Just saying. If you're not going to rip out nice, then don't rip out at all. All right. So, let's see how this fits. I have to trim. And, of course, I have to trim these big ones. So, let me see. That one you don't need to trim. Damn you, stop being a wench. Okay, so these two, we'll fold it in half. And come here. Hey, Todd, where are you? Need a new one. Now, where is that thing? I want a paper clip. God, I can't stand the touch of these. Are you going to go in there like that? Oh, hey. And are you going to? And there we go. Look at that. The book is done. And it's not even bulky. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, it's done. 
It's done, KK. I did it. it. Now it's a party. So now I just have to put my closure on it. Hey. Woohoo! That's really a party. Yep. Now it's really a party. Okay. So. Brown cow. Wow, wow, shaky pow, wow. All and right. So how are you closing it? You're going to see this. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Put you right there. Now, you got to make sure I don't cut a hole. My pocket. So let me see how even that is. It's pretty scary. Looks good. Just stamp it. Now I need, I'm going to use a brown one. And I love how those stack. These is going to go this way so there so you're not looking at the ugly part because the other one other side will be covered up perfect. so perfect now let me find some elastic mm -hmm. The black plastic. Uh, did I use it all or what? Where'd I put it? <laughs> I put it away. That's what I did. Because I'm some kind of spe special. Okay, I gotta go get a new one. One second. Okay, Lala. Well, My German Shepherd is outside chasing butterflies. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you know what she means. <laughs> She'll be back in a minute. And my rooster's out there crowing. Actually, actually, I have to cover this up. Unfortunately, I have to cover this. Yeah. Everyone's saying the journal's pretty ruby. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I guess that'll work in a pinch. <laughs> God, I hate how they roll these up like this. Oh, I know. Don't you love that? Sure do. You, you get the one that's um, for beading, the one that says beading, or the one that just says elastic cord? This is just Singer Elastic 5 yards. Almost yeah, five. they have two of them. And I get the one at Walmart that's the same exact beading cord uh -huh. or elastic cord. It says beading. One says beading and one says elastic cord. But uh -huh. the elastic cord one is a dollar forty-seven. The one that just says beading is ninety-seven cent. Guess which one I get? Ninety-seven cent one. Dang, Skippy. Dang, Skippy. She does, guys. Well, I'm gonna hold this down. Pudgy wudgy fingers, and see how well. How tight I need to make that. I mm, can make it a wee bit. Don't want to make it too tight because you want to save some room to add 
your uh, papers and important stuff. You know, and I want these to both be even. I don't feel like it is. Get out. Okay. So, I guess I do have to join it here, but that's okay. A little camouflage, it was something. brush. I don't know. I think it's in the living room where my Dolpo stuff is. Okay. Well, thinking what I should decorate this with. Something that's not going to be super bulky. Um, I could, I could do some lace. Maybe just go down the side of the book with some lace. Okay. Now it's a party. <laughs> now it's a party. No, it's a party. Oh, well, this is going to hide a mess. How cute is that? Good, good, good. Love that. Now over here, you're going to check it. Let's check and make sure you put it tight enough. It's not super, super tight, but that's how you want it because you're going to add uh -huh. so much stuff to this, you know, memorabilia and stuff. All right, so on the back here, I want to do something. 
to camouflage that. So I need some nice, pretty ribbon. And that's not a ribbon draw. Or even like a, uh, do you have a piece of filigree? Like a decorative one? That's kind of like a, a diamond? Mm -hmm. Not what I want to do. Do you want this? I love that paper. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm hmm. Probably could make that a bit smaller. So let's trim that off, make a smaller one. Yeah. All right. Smells so good in here. <coughs> I smell cinnamon. Oh, what? I smell cinnamon. Smell cinnamon? Yep. Love the smell of cinnamon. I got a cinnamon melter going. Oh. Oh. Love cinnamon. Me too. All right. Well, that's going to go there like that. Mm hmm. And where is my bling bling? We'll just put a small little bling there. Let's have a look at something vintage. This rustic with the filigree around it. I think that will be gorgeous, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. All right. I love the color of the ribbon. It's kind of a corally pink. It's very cheery. Yes. And there is my finished first time finished journal. I was making, well, I made Karen stencil hers. That wasn't made from scraps that was kind of a kit paper line this i just made from whatever whatever i could get my hands on so i'm going to give you a quick walk through and then i'll put this up for sale on etsy one of these days <laughs> you know me so good at that not all right now yeah, we're still waiting for you to put that other mini album on Etsy. Yeah, it's still sitting behind me. <laughs> All right. So there is my very first journal. Junk journal, you mean? Junk journal, yes. Really? Yeah, actually, it is really a first-time junk journal. So I love this closure, so it's completely completely camouflaged. Now you can't. It's a so junky junk journal it's called pretty simple as you can see it is very chock full so let's start off with page one you know I all know I made this little pocket here with the 
laminated bookmark. And we made this with empty purse. And it's not, it shouldn't be empty. It should stick a few tags in there. See if we can get some tags to fit in here. This one too big. Yes. So this one looks big though. No, they're too big. Anyway, I tried. Anyway, there's your pocket. Put one tag in there. And then there's all these journaling pages. I forget how many I did. I think there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pages, so there's twenty folded in half and double sided. I printed it on regular paper, double sided. So I made two of these. And these are removable. So here's our first little journal plot. Place to journal here. Here's our second place to journal on papers. Decorations. And tuck that away. That's just to look pretty. This is a pocket with a tag and somewhere to journal on there. And I just like that. And there's finish. This here is a place to journal. We have a blank page. This one here has got some tags in this pocket. That's a thick tag too because it's double sided. And that tag matches the paper. This one has some journaling cards, or yeah, see, postcard to write on. And this as well, right on that. I probably should put a paper clip on these just so they stay. And then there's a place to journal and put stuff. Journal there. That's just a decoration with put a paper clip. Use one of those rusted ones or the not yeah. so rusted ones. Yeah, I might put an ordinary one on. And then this is just a place to flip up and journal. And this here again is another place. I just put some washi tape there, made some tags. These two. This needs a. This will need a um, paper clip too, I think. Anything that tucks up at the top, like that, and then off to the side it sits. So it just tucks under the butterfly. This is a little pocket with some tickets. There's a circle to journal on. Oh yeah, that's my white envelope, and it just tucks in there. There's another place to journal. Another envelope that just says inspire, remember, spread your wings. So this is all just paper to journal on. And tuck that back in there. And we have our pretty little bird and our feather. And this is just places to journal. There's a couple sheets in there under the word hello. And to journal here, I love the bird. And a little tag. And a dolly and a butterfly. Nothing he stuck down. Did some glue get at him? Sure did. It's still sticky. And that's just a flip tag. Two little envelopes. Write some notes here. And don't you fall out. And this is, what did I do here? Oh, I know what this is. Hello. A little hello card and to journal on. And it just tucks inside like that. That's cute. Yeah. And then this just goes underneath this tab so it doesn't. Well, there's tuck pockets. Another tuck pocket. Lots of space in here. Journal there. This is places to journal. And this has a little booklet that tucks into the paper bag. Cherish. 
made this tag yesterday. This was so cute. And I just decorated it with a key. Pocket. Made this little pocket. Love this pocket. And then I did this all today. This is places to journal. You pull all those papers out. You can journal on there. You can journal on both sides of here. And we made this pocket. And that's a place to journal. Little tag or pocket tuck spot. Love this one. This is a little pocket. Put lots in there. Another spot for tuck. This is just a place to journal. Place to journal here. And you can journal down here and then flip it over and you've got all these pages to use to journal. Tuck spot. Place notes for journaling. You can journal on here. You can journal on there. Journal. We made this today. I did. This just has sheets of paper on it so you can write on it and it goes back in the pocket. Tuck spot. There's a laminated bookmark. Oh, it came off its paper clip. Where did my Tim Holtz paper clip go? Well, it needs another big paper clip because the Tim Holtz obviously didn't hold it. So there's two paper clips I gotta put back in here. That's just a place to journal on. Journal, tuck spot, fly away. Get a bit of glue on these, fix them up. And a place to journal. And tuck her back in the pocket. There. I love this one. And then you could journal here, here. You can put something on there if you want. Oh, there's my paper clip. Actually, you should put that right here. Why not? Why not? It'll stay on there. Yeah. Journaling. Love this page, too. Got a pocket here. A tag. And places to journal here. Here. Doily. Tuck spot. Love this little tag. Tucks in there. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. And there's a little pocket. Not a pocket. A flap to hold some papers. Pretty, pretty, love this. Love, love, love these. Lots of sparkle in those. Put one there, one there, and one like that. So they're just kind of messy. And then we got all these flips for journaling, journaling, journaling. And this is a little booklet in there. And then you got a place to journal. Put pictures there or memorabilia. Tuck spot. A little flippy. Another little cute tuck spot. And journal places. Okay. Another tag. That. Notes. And then there's all these three pockets full of note paper. And a spot to journal. We just made our tags. So cute. And then that's all the extra papers in there. And then... Very uh, lovely. Uh oh No, oh, I got glue on that. Oh, no. It's stuck. It. Let me use something very tiny and skinny so it don't rip my doily. Yep. Emergency surgery. And it's very unique. And we have smiles, that, and then there's the last book. Removable, another laminated bookmark with lots of room to put lots of stuff in these pockets. They're fairly big. And that's it. That is one big ass journal. Don't journal. And that's the outside of it. So this is so pretty. I'm actually going to glue down this butterfly because it's getting 
you know, hooked on stuff here and there, and it's just bending it. So let me just glue these wings down a wee bit. Fix it up a bit so it does not do that. And same with this guy here. Oh no, he doesn't. He's on foam, so I just wanted to fix the butterfly. And there's the back. All finished. So there we go. That is so pretty, guys. This was a lot of fun to make and super easy, super simple. And at least be half as good as Ruby. You're funny, Christy. Some of you guys mm -hmm. do really good, good work. You're not even going to pull the wool over my eyes. Not happening. I know how you feel, Christy. April, nobody asked you. Christy's lying. They it was a her. compliment, Hefa. Ha, Hefa. You hipa. You hipa. You hipa. No hipa. Okay. Boy, oh boy, I need it. So, what do y'all think? Beautiful. We're, we're done. We have done. We've worked damn hard on this journal. <laughs> Considering the first one didn't turn out the way I wanted it yes, to. I did. I worked awfully hard on that. Yes, you did. And I was not enjoying it. It exhausted so. me watching. Huh? <laughs> yes, it exhausted me watching. Yeah, I, I so know. hard on it, I exhausted myself. So, what I'm going to do is keep all my ephemeras, stuff that I cut out, all these papers for the next junk draw we ever start again. We'll do a little different. And one good thing about this kind of cover, it's flexible, so it's bendable, and it's going to go with the shape of the book. So it's going to, you know. And if this, if you find this to be a little too loose, tie a little knot here and then hook her up. But I, I'm leaving it this length because I'll regret it if I don't because when you start stuffing this full, you're gonna wish that elastic wasn't so so uh, so tight. Right. It, it could pull out. So we don't want that to happen. Christy Love says it's nothing short of gorgeous perfection, Ruby. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, everybody. Hey, look at all these beautiful papers. I still have lots left for these. I printed offline from a free program. All this stuff here I printed offline, except for these I got from the buck store. These little, <coughs> these little notepads. So those, and I absolutely love those post-note ideas for covering pockets. And the sayings on them are perfect, so perfect. So yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff away in one container to keep organized because, you know, upstairs. Hey. It's going to be so perfect in my box coming to me. What is, <laughs> oh, of course it is. I know. I know, eh? Oh, muffin. I See, know. When I'm working, I try to stay organized here. Um. Look, I didn't even add this in. Well, gosh darn it, I know where I'm putting that little pocket inside this little purse. Because it was meant to be in here. So this is a little tiny pocket. And it can go in a tuck spot. Well, yeah, but it's I don't know, it's pretty bulky. I'll just leave it inside this little purse. Because that was meant to go inside the journal. I never did put it in there. In her little purse. Into the little purse. So I just bulked it up even more. Good thing that elastic's big. <laughs> you know. Yes. So I'm going to keep all these little pieces that I had cut out for pockets. Because they work perfect. You don't need to waste them. One well, good. 
I am good, good, good in the hood. And I was, I was going to make pockets with this. You know, put it over top. That's an idea, so I'm keeping this just in case someday I do. Who knows? I might, and I might not. It's, it's a thought. Anyway. I am done. I am done now. I just, I was cleaning up a little bit, and I saw that little pocket I made, and I'm like, oh, shoot. I forgot to include that, but it did make it very bulky. Very bulky. I might have to take that out. It wasn't so simple after all, was it? No. I know, Christy, right? Way too bulky. Cat fight over the journal. Christy says, she's never done. <laughs> I could glue it up here. Barbara Higgins wishes she could buy everything that you make. Well, this is just going to go uh, with the gym. Oh, there we go. Hey. Brant says, I like it when you're making mini albums and journals. I don't want you to make other things. Boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't want to get bored. <clears throat> I mean, this was fun, but it's not like I'd rush in and start another journal right away I'm doing my quilt definitely doing that quilt okay so we are done whoopsies easy peasy peel off oh hey look at all the stuff that got underneath that but I can't my arms cannot touch this stuff. Something in this that's very irritating. Very, very scratchy. And I just put this down with um what do you call that? Two way Double tape. Stick. Double sided tape, yeah. No. Um no. It's the runner gun. What do you call those? AGT. No. No, she's talking about her double-sided runner gun tape. Yeah. The, the tape runners that I won't use. The score the runner. Automatic glue tape, AGT. Well, anyway, that's how I stuck these down to my brand new clean desk. Hopefully I don't stain it like I did the other one. If not, I'll just cover it again. All right, I got to go. I got to get some laundry done. And you know me, I had to save it for last day. Why do something today when you can put it off till tomorrow? I got mine in washing right now. <laughs> yep, me too. And this is All how right. organized. This is how Bye, organized. Everyone. When I'm working on a project, I put everything here. I try to keep very organized what I'm going to use in the project. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. So I just stack everything in here, what I'm going to use. All the papers are in here. And these are all my stuff. Look, I didn't even use these big flowers, but I took them out just in case. Anyway, those will just make my book way too bulky. Talk about being organized. I'm excited to start a quilt with you guys. I really am. I really I'm am. I'm super excited. Can't deny it. Hi. I'm with you. Actually, I have. I had a lot. I uh, haven't quilted in like three or four years, and I'm sure it's probably been the same amount of time for Ruby. Yep. Oh, and I was going to use some of these laces. See how much lace I used? Didn't even use Ooh. lace. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know what I was going to use, so I just pull out stuff. Try to keep myself neat. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys next time on my other channel. That's where I will always be now. This one I'm done on. The journal is done. This will be in its own little playlist. When it's done uploading, I will shoot it into its own playlist with the other videos. And see you guys tomorrow. Quilt time. Hey. Bye. 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 Bye.